So I have to tell you the story where I was hired to break into a major bank using social engineering techniques and defeating their physical security to get into their data center. So what I did is when I first went into the lobby of the skyscraper, it was over 50 stories, they had armed security guys with guns. You'd have to sign in a log after showing your driver's license, and then you could use your access card to get to the elevator to go up to your floor. So I had to figure a way to defeat this. So what I did is I found the number to the leasing office of the building. I called it, and then I used a little bit of phone pretexting. I said I was Jim Smith, that we just had a fire in the building, and I wanted to take a look at what office space they had avail available immediately. So the very next day, I'm now walking around with the leasing agent. She's showing me the different offices. I'm negotiating price. And then I wanted to ask her the key question. I go, how many keys do we get to the offices? She goes, oh no, sir, we don't give you keys. We give you access cards. So what I noticed is that she actually had an access card dangling from her belt with her picture on it. So I asked her, I go, you know, can I take a look at that? So she takes it off her belt, she hands it to me, and then with my daily planner, I put it over it, I look, I look at her picture, I hand it back, and what she didn't realize is my daily planner that I was carrying was a special daily planner with a little bit of technology inside that was used to steal the card ID and the side ID so I could clone her card. So with this device, what I could do is take pretty much an empty card, We'll put it in front of the reader so you can see what that looks like. 0001, 0001. So with this device, basically put this down, I hit one button, that's all it takes. So now I've essentially cloned the card. So if you take the leasing agent's card, you put it in front of the reader, it's 1136403. And if we take the card that I just made, it's the same, 1136403. Essentially, these two cards are the same. So what I was able to do with the leasing manager's card is I didn't have to go in front of those security officers and sign in to get into the elevator. I went into the parking lot and it worked with the freight elevator. So I was able to ride the elevator up to the floor where the bank was and then use the same tradecraft to break into the bank. So not only do you have to be concerned about malicious emails, malicious phone calls, you have to be concerned when you're put into any situation where anyone asks to look at your card. Don't do it. You have to stop, look, and think before you hand out your access card to anyone.